the impact of the new overtime regulations will depend upon the nature of the business and the industry. But as a general matter, it's going to mean increased compensation costs for employers and potentially increased litigation over overtime eligibility. In the near term, it's probably going to also mean increased legal spend on evaluating the impact of the regulations and diversion of HR resources in figuring out how to deal with the new regulations. We don't yet know the final form of the new overtime rules. What we do know is that it's almost certainly going to result in an increase in the salary basis test from $23,600 to about $50,000 a year. That means that any exempt employee who earns less than $50,000 is going to become automatically overtime eligible. The biggest question mark in the final regulations is whether or not it will include a change to the duties test, such as a time-based threshold. And if that does happen, it will almost certainly result in very significant increased litigation over the question of whether or not exempt employees remain exempt because they perform some level of non-exempt duties. In advance of the new regulations becoming effective, employers should be immediately consulting with counsel to set up wage and hour audits to identify all exempt employees who earn less than $50,000 to evaluate how to implement the new regulations with respect to that group of employees, whether or not to give them a salary increase or to allow them to become overtime eligible. Employers may also want to work with counsel to identify other potential misclassification risks and determine whether or not this is an opportunity to reclassify potentially misclassified employees based on a change in the rules. This may be an opportunity to reclassify employees while mitigating the risk of sparking additional wage and hour litigation.